Essential oil is a concentrated hydrophobic liquid containing volatile as a tendency of a substance to vaporize. Aroma compounds from plants. It is also known as volatile oils or ethereal oils. Cinnamon is where we are going to be extracting it from. Cinnamon has obviously used as flavoring. It can also use as an antimicrobial or as a fungicide that occurs naturally in the bark of cinnamon trees. The materials that we were using are 50 grams of cinnamon powder and 200 ml distilled water. To do this, we will be carrying out what is known as steam distillation. Most essential oils are produced by steam distillation. It is one of the best ways to take freshly harvested or dried plants and extract pure essential oil. So this is the sample spice that we will be using for our experiment today. And we will measure 15 grams of it. We're supposed to use cinnamon sticks, but unfortunately we couldn't find sticks, cinnamon sticks around the city, so we'll just use powder. So, actually each pack is supposed to be 50, uh, 20 grams each, but we will only need 50 grams. So we need to measure carefully and make sure that there are no wind. No electric fans, ceiling fans that could alter the measuring. So the apparatus we will use in setting up the steam distillation are distilling flasks where we put the crude cinnamon, a condenser with a water in and a water out, a vacuum adapter, and a receiving flask where we receive our essential oil. We'll also be using a heat source and an iron clamp. This is a sample picture of a steam distillation. Now we will start our steam distillation by putting the cinnamon powder in the distilling flask and putting water in it. see here these are the essential oils we have get we get rather from cinnamon powder have the result for our freezing distillation with our cinnamon sample We'll be adding sodium sulfate to our to our sample to dehydrate the remaining water portion of our product. Mm. 
So that process is what we call salting out. Salting out is a purification method that utilizes the reduced solubility of certain molecules in a solution of very high ionic strength. Therefore, it will be able to separate most, if not all, of the water from the essential oil since essential oils are hydrophobic or nonpolar. We also use virgin coconut oil as a carrier to the essential oil and mix it and to be able to effectively separate water from oil. Sadly, we only recovered 4.04% of the essential oil since we did not use a crude cinnamon but used a cinnamon powder which was already processed in the market since crude cinnamon wasn't available. 